Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's Kel Casey here with your live day one pre-race coverage for the 2023 Ferrande Open World Championship. We're right here in downtown Anchorage on 4th Ave. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Thanks to Greater Anchorage Incorporated. Thanks to everybody who makes the Ronnie amazing. And here we go. The Mushers meeting is underway right now. They're getting their bibs handed out. Okay, if you're just joining us here at the Mushers meeting, the pre-race coverage has officially begun here, folks. Your race marshal, Janet, in the middle there in the yellow, she has just given the Mushers their kind of instructions for the beginning of the race here. We have a big film crew from Anchorage here, big camera. Uh, so coverage is happening around, but this is the official street coverage here, street version. And there's Tony Blanford talking to Dog Cousins. And we got people from all over. Hi, from Colombia. Okay, we got people from all over the world here, right? Say hi to your family. Hi, I live in, in Africa for 20 years. But 20 years. From Colombia. All right, welcome. So we have people from all over. Thumbs up, you bet. We got hugs going on. Nikki Sayo, Janet, Hugh Neff. I got things to do. Here we go, Tetzner. I'll meet you at your truck here in a little bit, right? We'll get a little interview. Okay, cool. Uh, just walking around here, folks. This is what it looks like on 4th Ave. Conditions are moist. It is misty today. We have 30 degrees here in Anchorage right now. Uh, it did snow a little bit overnight. Uh, trails should be pretty good today, and hopefully it cools off tomorrow. Um, this is what the snow conditions are looking like. Thanks to all the work done by the municipality of Anchorage, Public Works Department. You can see how much snow. Here's folks working on their sleds, getting... Sleds tuned up, the different styles of dog trailers. How you doing? Right on. All right, cool. Um, again, here's your your look down Fourth Ave, folks. Pre-race coverage of the Open World Championship sled dog race began in 1946, and it's been going ever since. This is the race that predates the Iditarod by four decades, three decades. So it's. The traditional race that brought Alaskans together here downtown. And this is always the race where villagers would send their best teams. And we got some of those legendary names like George Atla and Ed Byfelt and all the names that ring out in the history books of the rendezvous. You have Marvin Cochran here, a longtime veteran, getting his line ready. So mushers have all their preparations to do. We're one hour from race time. Starts at high noon on 4th Ave. High noon, so let us know where you're from, who you're cheering for, if you have a favorite musher like Don Cousins who drives all the way out thousands and thousands of miles from Canada to be here every year. Or mushers like Dave Turner that drove all the way down from Fairbanks. Let's start with you Dave. How you uh, feeling today for the day one of the Rondi? Oh pretty good. The, the weather and the, the trails are, are pretty good compared to a couple of the past years. And I got to take it real slow. My dogs aren't used to running fast. So got to have a nice, e easy day today. Try to not go too slow, but just be ready for the rest of the weekend. And let's break that down a little bit for folks. You have more Alaskan Huskies that more are, um, what kind of breeding would you say you have? Well, mine are a mix between um, longer sprint dogs like Open Sprint, the dog from the paw, and mixed with Iditarod dogs. So okay. Kind of in the middle. More more husky than most of the dogs in the race today, but a lot more houndy than most of the mid and long distance dogs. Would you argue that your dogs are more similar to maybe the 1950s and 60s when this was? I have no idea. Village dogs mainly running here. Potentially. That beautiful cross of a rugged Alaskan that can survive cold, but also yeah. get some speed. Most of my dogs have a little bit more hair than most of the sprint dogs. Yep. A lot, lot less houndy looking, but not nearly as husky looking as I did around dogs. Okay, great. So here's get a good look at Dave Turner, bib number five from Fairbanks, Racing Chaos. He's had a great season so far this year. And we're going to be looking at those type of dogs, Dave. We're going to look for the difference between your dogs and let's say Buddy Streeper, right? Oh, yeah. And then maybe Hans Gotts and, and Hugh Neff might have similar looking dogs to yep. yours. 
Yeah. Okay, great. So everybody at home, cheer on Dave Turner right here. He's a great musher, has a Aurora tour business up in Fairbanks at Aurora Base Camp, or uh, what, Aurora, Borealis Aurora Base Camp. Camp. We do all the dog sled rides. So right yeah. on. Thanks, brother. Yeah. That's our first interview, folks. We're going to go ahead and go up the street and get Buddy Streeper and some folks, and then we'll come back down the street. So again, this is an interactive platform here. You can go ahead and leave your comments. Let us know where you're from. It's a big reunion here downtown. And so if you have a favorite musher, let them know. This is the scrapbook that will last the test of time here. There's Mandy. Hi. How are you, Mandy Johnson? Ready to go on her rookie Good. year, right? Excited. You want to tell everybody just a little bit about yourself? I'm from just north of Whitehorse, Fox Lake area. And my husband and I run a kennel with our four kids. We have a tour business. So, yeah, we're either on the runners or on a horse. <laughs> and you said you have four children helping out. Uh, yeah. What are their ages? Uh, five, seven, eight, and eleven. And so, what does it feel like to have a mom like be, to be a mom that has such competent kids helping out with the dogs? Well, it's really cool now. It was hard when a lot of them were in diapers when they were little babies, but now they're really helpful and they've learned a lot and they're still learning every day. And yeah, it's it's pretty cool to have them helping us. Great. Well, I'm going to zoom out so people can see your bib right here. You want to be cheering on rookie Manny Johnson here. Bib number 15 drove a long way to have her first experience at the three-day Open World Championship. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll come and circle back and get you throughout the event. We want to hear more about how it goes for you. Okay. Thank Good you. luck. You betcha. Yeah. All right. Great. we got Mandy there, folks. Um, what a great event here. It brings people from all over Alaska and Canada and Europe together. This is just a special event. Uh, we want to go ahead and thank all of our sponsors, Tudor Bingo, Ravenwood Veterinary, you know, the North Slope Telecom Incorporated Company. Those guys provided all the checkpoint radios, so we're really grateful to North Slope Telecom. Uh, here's a list of the sponsors right here, friends. There you go. Pet Emergency Treatment, Coca-Cola Alaska, Steve Cole, Rasmussen Foundation, Alaska Dentistry. Everybody here on this list helped make this happen, helped make the, uh, the pot happen, the, the purse, the $55,000, and that's all really important. So we're going to go ahead and keep moving up to get to the higher bibs here. Let's go ahead and say hi to Tony real quick if he has a minute. Hi, Andrea. You're not running this year. That's a bummer. Tony, yes. how about a quick introduction to your now fan base across the world that saw you almost outperform the A-team last year? Well, you know, I, I, I uh, talked to Buddy after that. I said, Buddy, couldn't you just let me win the heat? And then I could always say I beat Buddy Streeper in the heat, but nine seconds. How about you tell folks about your goals for this year? So my goal uh, is to run a good race. I think, you know, before, before I was a little a bit of a handicap, and I think if I do my part, we'll have an excellent run this year. Right on. And what, what, what do you have to think about the dogs? How do you manage them in the heat? Well, so we, uh, Buddy kind of gives me running instructions. Okay. And then I try to run into that. And I think uh, hopefully over the last few years, I worked out all the kinks. Yep. Uh, so made all my mistakes. And uh, so this year, I have, I'm confident it's going to be a good year. Great. I'm going to pull back just a little bit so folks can see bib number seven there. I've got the start list in the post. Now you got a face to a name, Tony Blanford running the Streeper B team, hi, I'm saying, saying hi to his mom, and you hail from Anchorage. Hail from Anchorage. I'm a dog. And so when people come from all over the world, they should come right down here to 4th Ave, right? Yeah, come on down. Right on. Right on. Okay, cool. Thank you, brother. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yep. All right, here we go. We're going to move up to Buddy. we got some of our race officials right here and helpers in our minutes, veterinarian crew minutes, 45 minutes still race time there's our veterinarian minutes. crew folks getting an interview from the alaska news source and we're bringing you in from all over the world to fourth ave on february 24th day one of the 2023 rondi it's happening here we're getting closer to race time there is the streeper mobile you can see that their positioning they drew high again this year so this is your nine-time champion vehicle right here buddy streeper from fort yukon so if you're new to the sport and you're wondering who might be a favorite this year streeper has won nine times and this is a very hard race to win once to even get on the podium it's three days 25 miles about three minute miles the dogs really have to be sailing 
and you have to have amazing amounts of training and trust with your dogs. The Streepers out of Fort Nelson, British Columbia, uh, Terry, uh, Eddie, and of course Buddy and Lena and the family, they have a very, very strong race program here. They have very nice equipment. You can see what palace the dogs travel in all the way from Fort Nelson. And so this is the team to beat. Buddy won it last year. If he wins this year, he ties George Atla for the most winning Rondi musher of all time. Andy, you ready? All right, Andy, give us a little intro. Good to see you, brother. Congratulations on drawing number one. How about you tell folks about yourself? Um, well, I'm 62. I'm totally happy to run a young dog team. So mostly two-year-olds and a couple four-year-olds in lead. And we are happy to be here. It's such an awesome race. And what type of sled dogs do you have, Andy? Well, it's basically the street for bloodline. So two years ago, I decided to go back into racing and ask Buddy um, if I can breed to some of his females with his best man. And that's what I have. Okay, great. So Andy's bib number one. That's something you drew on Wednesday night, right? That's yes. all luck. What does that mean for you? Do you have to worry now? I'm not worried at all. Okay, great. I'm just enjoying it. I take it easy and I start to be worried on Sunday. Okay, great. So I'm going to pull back for one second. Stay right there. There's Andy's bib number. He drew number one. I've got the start order in the post here, folks. You can cheer on Andy, who lives up in Nanana. And uh, what about back home? You want to say anybody, anything to your oh, family back home? Anybody who's watching us back home in Germany or in Fairbanks, um, thanks for getting me here. Right on. We're all part of the team. Exactly. It takes a lot of people. The cost of, of taking care of dogs. And a lot of friends to make it. Yeah. Right on. Well, I'm certainly proud of you. I've known you for many years now, and this is exciting as heck to see you here at the start line. Goldstream Husky out of Nanana. And looking at bib number one. And just having a fun day, right? I will. Right on, brother. All right, there we go. Running streeper hound. So, uh, going to be uh, short haired dogs here. And we'll go ahead and circle back and get Bud. I think he's busy right now. Look at some of the vendors here, folks. Fourth Ave vendors. Uh, give you an example of some of the temperatures. You can see the moisture here. So, there is, you know, it's pretty warm. Just want to give you the real life. That, of course, there's some salt on there, but that's also a melted puddle. Uh, seeing is believing. So we do have warm temps. It's moist. Is this our veterinary crew? Okay, you have to use your loud voice. Okay. And let me dry off my hand. I'm going to zoom in on you. Or zoom out so I can get closer. Okay, introduce yourself starting with our, my left. You, Dr. Merrigan. Dr. Merrigan. Right on, brother. What was your name? I'm Brittany. Okay. And I'm Taylor McKenzie. Right on. Danielle Dara. And where's everybody from? Ravenwoods. Ravenwoods, one of our sponsors. So I listed that. I showed folks at home on the back of the official race guide here. You saw the Ravenwood veterinary right there. Well, here's your crew in real life volunteering their time. Yep. Are you going to be doing real life veterinary work? Real life veterinary. And what does that mean? Um, you have to make sure every dog here is as safe as he can be for the race. Okay, awesome. And I'm just going to pretend like my camera didn't freeze up and we'll just keep going there. Because it did. It's not that cold. This is actually pretty warm. Thank you. Let's see if this keeps going. You too. Thanks.